hello welcome back so today we're gonna be reviewing a couple products from daiso that are neon slash fluorescent slash uv reactive slash black light reactive and this is the daylight portion of the review so the main thing that i got really excited about last time i went to daiso are these washi tapes this is they are masking tape fluorescent color dots product number 194 and these are the colors that they had and they also had a similar set with um diagonal lines but i was like well i wasn't sure the thing is not every product that's neon or looks like it's fluorescent will actually be black light reactive um even though some products that are that you might not expect it actually are black light reactive like highlighters um but so i didn't want to you know go ahead and get eight different sets in case they weren't black light reactive because i don't really use too much neon outside of the black light setting so i got these and happily they all are black light reactive which is super exciting because i love washi tape so these are the colors there are four of them they all have the same label and then the other product is double fluorescent pen they have a thick side here and a thin side here five colors this is product number 49 so let's go through the washi tapes first and so here i have them on white and on black so you can see how they look here is an example of it on uh, an art, one unit of art, jellyfish. Um, it's not very noticeable, right? It's just not very noticeable. We have to be, we have to be honest with ourselves. But again, a lot you have to when you're making black light reactive art, you have to think, how is it going to be used? Do I want it to appear a certain way? Both you know in the daytime and under black light or is it really only important for me how it looks under black light so that really depends and then the other thing i wanted to show you and these look way cooler under black light but you can combine these because between the dots they're actually quite um see-through right you can see the black a lot through here under the black light uh, between the dots so you can actually combine them for cool effects I did them on the back of these kind of hard to tell they're a little bit offset but you'll see the difference uh once they're under the black light so really happy with these next time i go to daiso i'm totally gonna get the stripey ones the diagonal stripes now on to the fluorescents the fluorescent pens i just did them on the bottom of these same papers from before these look like normal highlighters on white on the black they sort of barely show up and i actually haven't looked to see how they will look under black light it'll be interesting if they show up at all so there you go that's and oh and these are some arts that i made a while ago with other fluorescents just like fluorescents that i had on hand and i painted these under the black light so in the daytime they look kind of like quite like nothing but under the black light these are just doodles under the black light i think they look much more colorful and interesting okay so i'll be back later at night all right we have now entered the night portion the black light portion of the daiso fluorescent product review that sound that you hear all around in the background, those are not night birds, they are cookie frogs, and they do make that sound. So the first thing that I wanted to look at was the actual tapes themselves. The main thing you'll notice here is that there's almost no difference between the yellow and the green. Um, so similar to what we saw with the uh, acrylics, if you are trying to conserve or expecting something different between yellow and green you will not really find it and the pink and orange are quite bright i would say the orange is the brightest one the yellow is probably the second brightest the green maybe the main difference between green and yellow is that the green is a little bit paler so let's look at our swatches these are our swatches on black and on white 
So this is the this is the green and this is the yellow. As you can see, the yellow is a little bit brighter than the green. On white paper, they look basically identical. The orange is definitely the brightest on both of these, and the pink is quite pale. Interestingly, I think on you know while the acrylics look very cool on black these don't look as good on black i think i haven't tested them out on different other colors of paper but that would be worth testing out here is my test art as you may recall from the daytime this looked very drab in the daytime but now it looks super duper cool and you can do all kinds of fun patterns with these that really sticks out um and so just to give you a little bit of a I just started um, having fun with some of these patterns, so here's one that I did, and I put the orange on top of the yellow. Here's one with the yellow on top of pink. And I did some really fun, I did try to have fun with these on the other side, so this one gives kind of like a cool drop shadow effect. This one also has a weird dot effect. I really like these ones too. This one gives you, this is just one tape on top of another, and you can, you know, intersperse them in particular ways to get different kinds of effect. This one is pink on green, and it's not very noticeable. Like, it, it's so much paler than the orange and the yellow, which are the two brightest colors. So, basically, like, I haven't even tried to experiment with a lot of the combinations for these, but I think there's a lot of room for really really fun patterns and basically based on my experience with these i'm definitely gonna go back and get the um the ones with the diagonal lines the other thing to note is that these also didn't look like much of anything in daytime but they really under the black light really start to stand out and look really really cool i think Whee, swatches now onto the highlighters so this is the test that I did on the white paper. This would be... So the blue basically doesn't show up at all. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. These look quite nice though. The green and the yellow, pretty similar. The orange looks pretty bright. The red, pink one is quite pale. I'd have to probably do multiple ones, multiple layers. And then on black, it really doesn't show up in the in the light, but you could in, on the camera. But you actually can see the yellow in person a little bit and the orange a little bit. But I would not recommend these highlighters on black, which is kind of opposite from the acrylics because the acrylics look super duper cool. And so here are the arts that I made. These are not using the Daiso highlighters. These are just other old highlighters that I had lying around. If you remember, they looked very kind of plain um, in daytime, but now they look really bright and interesting. This one especially, the difference is just wild. And this one is really bright and phenomenal. Whee! It's fun just to doodle under the black light. They're kitty. But again, the main thing is think about the the way that you plan on displaying these, how you want to use them. Does it matter to you if it's pale or not um, under daytime? Um, and just whatever way that you plan on having like the main way that the art is viewed create the art under those conditions so that's the main thing that I would recommend if it's important for you that it look also looks good in daytime create the art in daytime because that's where like it'll probably almost always show up in in the night view under the black light but if you're really worried about how it's going to look in the daytime if that's important for your art then you should definitely make your art in the daytime otherwise I personally have a lot of fun playing with all this stuff under the black light. Woo! So I hope that you found all this useful and I hope you enjoy your journey in black light art and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!